everyone, it's Monica with Advice to Think Twice, um, and welcome to my channel and welcome to the December 2016 Love Tarot Forecast, and I can't believe it's December, um, but here we are. Um, and um, for this month, because of my trip, Stormy and I weren't able to sync our schedule, so um, we're doing the uh, reading separate. I'm just doing the tarot portion uh, on my channel, but um, I still encourage everyone to go check out her horoscopes because I think they're great. So I'm still going to put a link to her channel in my description box. And um, that's it. I'm using the Romantic Tarot deck for the readings this month, same as always. And um, I hope that everyone enjoys the readings. I hope that you find them useful. Um, of course, happy, happy holidays. Have a wonderful Christmas. Um, and a wonderful new year. I hope all your new year wishes come true and um, I will be seeing you in January 2017 for Love Forecasts and uh, stay tuned for yearly love scopes because I'm working on those um, and I'll post them as soon as I can. Okay, so have a wonderful month and a wonderful new year. Um, enjoy your readings. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hello everyone, this is Monica with Advice to Think Twice and I'm here with your December 2016 Love Tarot Forecasts. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Thank you very much for being here today. Please remember to watch your Moon and Rising sign readings as well as Stormy's horoscopes uh, to gain more insight as to what may be coming up for you in the month of December regarding your love life. So Aquarius, awesome cards. I love your cards. Okay, I definitely definitely let me know how these play out for you because it looks like an awesome month um you have two aces in your reading definitely new beginnings when it comes to your love life whether it's new relationships or new stages in existing relationships but very very happy new beginnings coming up um moving in with someone okay buying a place together could also be happening proposals could be happening okay with these cards um it looks like an awesome month so i look forward to your comments so your overall energy for the month is the Ace of Wands. So with the Ace of Wands, uh, this can represent new passion, new relationships, new passion in existing relationships, um, the sparks of love flying once again, romance, excitement, it can represent new life, okay, so pregnancy is happening. Um, it can represent traveling together with this energy or um, it also feels like Definitely lots of lots of fire, lots of passionate times um, in, in the bedroom with this card, but also lots of excitement. So maybe meeting a lot of new people or going a lot of, uh, on a lot of different dates um, and just enjoying life, just having fun. It could also be coming up with this card. Um, then we have the four main energies of the month or a week by week view. It depends how you want to look at it. But the first card that we have are the first week of the month we have the strength card the strength card is um it could represent a leo in your life okay and maybe a fire sign is your main focus this month with the ace of wands as well so fire signs are um aries leo and sagittarius um so this could represent a leo sun moon or rising that is showing up for you in the first week of the month and this is the person who brings in the excitement i feel like this person is very out of the box very unusual even uh, you may describe them as unusual very exciting um, trying new things all the time very fun good sense of humor um, and I feel like you know this is someone new coming into your lives in the first week of the month or if this is your existing partner um, I do believe that this talks about kind of letting your guard down letting the walls uh, come down and shifting the focus back to the relationship with the strength card it's a card that talks about control self-control so um, it could be that um, either you've been at a distance or there has been emotional distance um, because you've each had to be focused on other commitments other responsibilities and in the first week of the month i feel like those walls are starting to come down a little bit and you're starting to bring the focus back on your relationship and just having some fun okay maybe you're starting date night again or starting date night um, a date night tradition uh, could definitely be coming up with these two cards um, 
I feel, you know, for some of you, you may have your reservations. I feel like if this, this is someone new coming in, it's very different than the usual type you go for, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. So I feel like you may have some reservations about that, but as soon as you just give them a chance and take it one day at a time, I feel like they're gonna bring a lot of joy into your life, a lot of fun, absolutely. In the second week, we do have the Page of Cups. So with the Page of Cups, this is messages of love. This is people telling you how they feel or you telling them how you feel or um, invitations to go out, okay, invitations in terms of uh, let's be together or um, I definitely want to spend more time with you, I de definitely want to get to know you better or, you know, come on this trip with me. Um, could definitely be coming up with this Page of Cups card. It could be a water sign sending you these messages, um, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or it can be a water sign that has fire in their chart as well, um, and it's one and the same person. But the Page of Cups is very, very positive messages of love, lots of compliments, uh, lots of people asking you out, or one person telling you how they feel, telling you that they love you. Um, it could be happening. Um, this is definitely a time of uh, loving communication back and forth. So I feel that um, someone's sharing how they feel with you and you're sharing how you feel with them. Um, or this is you telling someone how you feel, you know, just as simple as that. Or, you know, this is the water sign telling you how they feel. And it can be a focus on children around the second week of the month with the page and the ace of wands together. It can be a focus on children someone giving birth or uh, deciding to get pregnant or finding out that you're pregnant um, around the second week could also be coming up. Third week, we have the Knight of Wands. So with the Knight of Wands, again, fire sign energy, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. The Knight of Wands can represent uh, someone coming in around the third week uh, to just sweep you off your feet. Or this is just talking about, you know, after you've declared your feelings for each other, things are really progressing quickly. The Knight of Wands is definitely swift movement, um, things heating up, lots of passion, lots of excitement. The Knight of Wands can also represent moving in together or traveling to see someone. If you've been talking online, you're traveling to, to meet each other or you know they're traveling to, to come meet you um, and things are really moving forward really quickly with the Knight of Wands energy. Um, this could also represent a trip if you're not, you know, traveling to meet each other, this is a trip that you take together. It could be to a bed and breakfast. It could be to just take some time off for, for yourselves. Or it could be, you know, traveling because it's the holidays and uh, you have to meet a lot of people and socialize and uh, connect with family and friends and, and all of that. So it could be something like that. Um, and in the fourth week, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. So your second ace in the reading. The Ace of Pentacles, I love the Ace of Pentacles when it comes to a love reading because it does talk about the potential for a new relationship, but this is a relationship that can absolutely take you to a long-term relationship with the marriage, with the home, with the children, with the grandchildren. It's something that is very much rooted and grounded, okay? It's not just about fantasies and emotions. Um, it's also something that is real, okay, that can last the test, take the test of time, okay, um, with the, the Ace of Pentacles. Once again, it can represent moving in together. Uh, combining your assets can also um, come up with this card. Can represent pregnancy, absolutely new life with the Ace of Wands and with the Ace of Pentacles, it can represent new life, so getting pregnant or giving birth towards the end of the month. Or like I say, a new relationship that is both passionate but also um, has a strong foundation, really strong potential uh, for the future with these cards. So you're either starting a new relationship or you're taking things to the next level within uh, a current relationship, whether it is you know, being exclusive or meeting the family or moving in together. Uh, or talking of commitment or you know marriage proposals or starting a family or expanding the family it's going to be different things for different people but it's definitely a new phase in the relationship or a brand new beginning in your love life happening with these two cards definitely um, towards the end of the month uh, for some of you but overall it looks like an amazing month 
um absolutely fabulous absolutely fabulous lots of love lots of messages of love lots of passion lots of fire lots of excitement new beginnings absolutely so um i hope that you know i hope that you enjoy the reading and that it applies to as many of you as possible okay thanks for being here um and please remember to watch your moon and rising sign readings and stormy's horoscopes i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic month Happy holidays and I'll talk to you in 2017. Take care.